Today on Kemp Outside, we are going to install the new bed in the cargo camper. We're going to take a look at the queen size Airlax 18 inch high air mattress. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, I'm excited to get back into making videos about our cargo camper, which is our 7x14 enclosed trailer that we have done a conversion into a camper. And today, guys, we are going to look at the bed we are putting in the cargo camper. So really cool. Airlax contacted me, asked if I would like to review an air mattress. And guys, if you watch my channel a lot, you know that we do a lot of tent camping and we sleep on air mattresses when we tent camp. Uh, I've just found that that uh, works a whole lot better for me than lugging around cots and stuff like that. So we use air mattresses and I've been looking for the right air mattress for the cargo camper. So Airlax sent me this blow up queen size air mattress. It's 18 inch tall and it comes with its own pump. So I'm gonna get the air on in the cargo camper, cool it off in there so I can shoot some video without sweating to death and then we are going to take a look at this airlax bed talk about the pros and cons see how i like it in the cargo camper stay tuned and check it out man it's hot today it's early september here near tampa florida and it is over 93 degrees probably over 100 with the heat index it's hot so i let the air run in the cargo camper for quite a while it's now a nice 72 degrees in here just shut down the ac unit so we could get started shooting this video on putting the bed in the cargo camper. Now, one of the things that I really like off the bat with this Airlax mattress is that it comes in a nice bag with carrying handles. A lot of the air mattresses that you buy, they don't come with any kind of carry bag. So I really like that because it's going to be very easy for me to load this in and out of the van or the cargo camper when we're going camping. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you where we're going to put it in the cargo camper. Okay guys, so as you can see, the back of the cargo camper is empty. We don't have any gear in here right now. And that is the place where I'm gonna put the air mattress. Now I could put permanent beds in here or I could put beds that fold, folded down or I could put beds that hang off the E-Track. But I really didn't wanna do that because we primarily use the cargo camper to haul cargo and gear. We don't stay in it very often. We actually use this space as a hangout space during foul weather. So I don't want permanent beds in here, but there are times when we do plan to stay in here instead of our tent. And when we're doing that, we wanna be able to blow up a nice air mattress in here and get real comfortable. So I'm gonna get the Airlax mattress rolled out, plug it in, start blowing it up, and we'll take a look at how it fits the space. Here's a quick time-lapse video of me filling the air mattress with air. In all reality, it took a minute and 30 seconds to fill the air mattress completely. That's pretty fast, and I was really pleased with the results. All right, guys, so there you can see it's fully inflated. It takes up a little bit of room in the back of the cargo camper, but not bad at all. We definitely have a space down one side of the bed where we can access the bed between the bed and the wall. And quite frankly, this is perfect. We can definitely sleep on this. I'll basically spread out a sleeping bag or two over the top and we can go to sleep in minutes. It only took about a minute 30 to inflate. The pump was a little loud, but wasn't too bad. Uh, it's just in the confined space of the cargo camper, everything is loud in here. So I'm sure it wouldn't be as loud if you were blowing it up in the middle of your living room or out in a tent. It just seemed a little loud in here, but it's really easy. You just plug the pump into the wall and hit the button to inflate it. And then there's another button to hit to deflate it. So it'll suck all the air out. So it's easy to roll up and put away. Let's take a look at some of the features of the air mattress. So here's a look at the built-in air pump. It has a very easy inflate or stop button and then a deflate button. And so that will inflate the air mattress or suck the air out to put it away. And then it has this nice little flap here to store the power cord when not in use. The power cord is about three feet long 
and fits perfectly in here. I'm able to plug it into my outlet without needing an extension cord. Just to the left of the pump is a manual inflate or manual release valve. All you have to do is unscrew that and it opens up to easily deflate the air mattress or to fill it with a standard separate air pump. So guys, the big question is how do I like it? And the answer is I like it quite a bit. I really like air mattresses when I camp, guys. Uh, number one, I do not like the space that cots take up, especially when you have to move them around or lo load them into and out of your your car or your van or your trailer. Cots just take up so much room and especially if you're a big guy like me, you wanna get an oversized cot. They just take up a lot of room. Number two, I do like the queen air mattress because that means my wife and I can sleep on the same air mattress. I don't have to try and get like a double cot or something like that or we don't have to sleep in separate cots. We're able to sleep on the same air mattress and uh, we like that, so that's a preference for us. The third thing I like about air mattresses is you deflate them, you roll them up, you throw them in a sack, and you can stuff them pretty much anywhere. You can put them in your uh, RV or your travel trailer or your vehicle. You just put them in the sack right next to the tent and you're ready to go. And so I love air mattresses for that reason. When we're sleeping in the cargo camper, we're sleeping, but when we're not sleeping in the cargo camper, we don't want beds to take up a bunch of space. And so it's very easy for us to hit that deflate button, roll it up, move it out of the way, and then we're good. And then when it's time to, to go to bed, we plug the thing in, a minute 30, the thing's blown up and ready to go. Now, a couple things about air mattresses that you need to know about is that all air beds stretch. So when you first inflate the air bed, you wanna give it some time. So what we like to do when we get to where we're staying is we'll set up our air bed, we'll blow it up, and we'll leave it for a couple of hours. And then before we go to bed, we'll top it off to make it firm. When air beds stretch, it makes it feel like they're losing air. They're not, they're just stretching. Every brand of air bed will do that. So it's always good to top off your air mattress before you go to bed. Another thing to consider, guys, is you wanna be careful getting into and out of your air bed. Basically, air beds work great when the weight is distributed across the air bed, but if you are leaning on a corner or an edge of the bed with a lot of weight in a single place, you know, that's, the, that's a really good way to develop holes in your air bed. So you wanna be cautious getting into and out of. If you are someone who just flops into bed, you're definitely gonna not want an air bed. You're gonna want something else to sleep on because uh, these things you do have to be careful. Guys, we get a lot of life out of our airbeds. None of them last forever, but we get a lot of life, you know, several years out of an airbed. And we camp a lot, guys. We probably are camping, sleeping on these things six to eight weeks a year. So we get a lot of use out of our airbeds and they last several years before we have to retire them. And I think this airbed will be just like some of the other brands I've tried and that I think it's gonna last us a long time. But stay tuned to the channel, guys, because I'm gonna be using this airbed quite a bit. We're gonna put it through its paces, and I will report back on this channel if it fails earlier than I think it should. But guys, everything to me says that this is a quality airbed, and it should work really, really well for us. Uh, a couple of other things to keep in mind is that you wanna make sure that you take care of the power cord, uh, what I would not want is for the edges of the plug to rub against the uh, mattress material when you're traveling. So coil it up and take the time and put it in that little container and close the door so that you don't have anything metal rubbing on the material of the mattress while you're uh, in transit and the thing is packed up in its storage bag. A couple other things that I wish this air mattress did differently. Number one, it has a white fabric top and I'm camping and I have dogs, so this white top is probably going to get dirty. And so I would probably have preferred it to be a different color, especially an earth tone, so that it didn't show as much dirt and grime. If you're using this as a spare bed in a house or something like that, you don't have to worry about that. But for us with camping, this top's gonna get dirty. I just know it, I'm just gonna have to accept it. And the same goes with the carrying bag. The carrying bag is white. It's a nice bag, but I wish it was brown in color. That way when it gets dirty because we're going camping, uh, it won't look so bad. So I guess those are the cons of the Airlax uh, 18 inch Queen Air Mattress. 
I don't know if those are a big deal to you or not. Guys, they're really not a big deal to me because I'm going to throw sleeping bags on top of this thing and I'm never going to look at this white cover except for when I'm setting it up uh, or deflating it. So uh, take that for what it is. But all in all, I like the uh, the speed of the, of the pump. I like the comfort of the air bed. It fits great in the cargo camper. So this is going to be the dedicated bed for the cargo camper. So all in all... Um, buy with confidence guys i'll put a link down in the description below where you can get this air mattress from airlax it's an affiliate link so when you use our link to purchase it doesn't cost you anything extra but it gives us a little commission on the sale it's a great way for you to support kemp outside I want to thank airlax for sending this to me to review i did not use my own money for this airlax sent it to me so thank you airlax for for letting me try this out and guys, Kemp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about camping gear in general, or air beds, or air mattresses, or sleep systems, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to help you get you and your kids outside. You can also connect with us at our other social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or our website at kempoutside.com. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. We'll see you next time.